Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is uh, Mermaid on the live editor. I'll put the link in the description. It's very cool. I uh, just want to show you quickly how uh, you can add milestones to your Gantt diagram. So we keep the date format the way it is. Not going to even mess with that. And you'll see that this is the early section. Let me zoom. Uh, let me open this in a new window, SVG. One of the things I really like about this is it has SVG out. So task in seconds. All right, so what is that? So task in second section, just so we're clear. And you can see I've got auto sync, so it's updated that. It's not going to update this because you have to actually maybe it'll refresh. No, it's being generated in that instance. So uh, we open it again, and there it is. So task in second uh, section one, two. I completed something. That is the task. And then I have another task, and then a task. And theoretically, I should be able to reference this as a different task. But you can see I also have I completed something. And I completed something that's not very useful. So um, we'll say this is my first milestone. It's changing here. And we'll go ahead and we'll say this is my second, second milestone. And my task, a task, is after a one. That's in section. Um, that's in section two. Let's see if I can reference this as after a two. Uh, task. A1, A1, and then A2. Let's see if that does. Yes, okay, now we get some more, get some more sense here. Although you can see the milestones uh, will want to have their own. This is which one is that? It's my first milestone. So. You need to put it in the order in which it appears. It's very literal in terms of location. And you can see that uh, maybe, I uh, need to change that to A2. There we go. Now we're getting a little better. And I'll go ahead and change another task. Um, and I'll name it as a three and then I'll pop it in after a two so you name it you date it and that is how you will uh, get your diagram so let's go ahead and close let's go ahead and open the SVG take a look and it's loading and there it is so we have task one and then Interesting, after first milestone, second milestone, I made a typo there. Let's see if I can put the milestone after A3. Close that, close that. Yeah, now if I do this, it puts it after it, but you have to. You have to. Uh, include the, um, you have to put it in the order in which it appears. It doesn't like that clearly, so we need, definitely need the, um, the comma. And I wonder if it'll allow us to put an empty section. We'll call this section empty. And I'll just go ahead and name this 
uh, MP slot, and we'll whack this out to 20 days, and we'll start it in May. And we go to 40. Just to give some visual highlighting, maybe it's, it's clearly not conforming to any kind of business rules, but it might help you understand what's going on. So a task, this is the milestone here. I, I think I could name this task to follow the milestone. Let's see if we can do that. So the first a task should be okay so a task and we'll say this is after m1 it doesn't like that oh maybe because it's no, it really doesn't like that. So control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. A task. Maybe it is after this t uh, milestone. Anyway, go ahead and play with it. I'll go ahead and um, I, I haven't figured out actually how to share uh, these aside from um, well, I guess I could copy this into a gist and then load the gist. Anyway, thanks for watching and happy computing.